We're here with Peter Curry, the uh, importer. Yeah, the, uh, sales manager, importer, see, U.S. importer. He does stuff uh, for Duncan Taylor, yeah. and it's very important. <laughs> Duncan Taylor, we're, uh, we're we're not a distiller. I should say that straight off the bat. Cool. We are um, we're what's classed as a blender, broker, mm. and bottler of Scotch whisky. So we buy distillate from distilleries. We go to distilleries like Macallan and uh, Laphroaig and, and Glenfiddich or wherever, and we, we buy up production from them. Mm. Um, and then we we fill most of that goes into our own casks. We have our own cooperage in Huntley in Scotland. Oh. Um, where we fill the casks and then we age them on and some of those casks we blend in our Black Bull range um, and some of the others we bottle as single cask, cask strength single malts. Um, and we've got, we've got whiskies from, from three years old up to 50 years old. Wow. Um, so, you know, we do the whole, the whole range of stuff and then, yeah, we bring, bring a lot of them into the US and, uh, and distribute them throughout the, month, the, the country. So. And then we drink them. And then we drink them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, so uh, do you, maybe we can try them um, one by one and then you can tell me a little bit about them while we're doing that? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I think um, probably the best one to start with is our Black Bull Kylo. Um, okay, let's so, hold that up for the camera real quick just so Black Bull Ky Kylo. So Black Bull is a, a really old blend. Um, it was... Uh, we're not pour them too big because we've got six. <laughs> we've got six a lot. To do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should. It'll make it more fun. Um, <laughs> Just kidding. I wanna... So Black Bill's a really old brand. It's been around since 1864. Um, it was owned for a long time by a, a New Yorker, by a guy called Abe Rosenberg, um, and it was uh, one of the first whiskies to come into the U.S. after Prohibition. Oh. You wow. know, so we know that for a fact because it was trademarked in New York in 1933. So it's basically um, liquid gold. Yeah, it's been it's it's a very very historic brand. Um, you know, the Rosenberg brothers they also brought in J&B and mm -hmm. Cutty Sark. That was their two oh, big brands. Yeah. But Black Bull they owned personally. Um, and the story with Black Bull it's always been uh, bottled at 100 proof. Mm. So. The recipe is 50% malt whiskey, 50% grain whiskey, bottled at 50% alcohol. Oh. And the easiest way to show that, at a higher proof, if you give the bottle a shake, you see the, the bubbles, the beading lasts a lot longer. Oh, okay. It's thicker, it's oilier, it's more viscous, and so you get this, this um, the bubbles around the bottle, they last a lot. If it was 80 proof, it would just go flat instantly. Oh. So what, it does, what it does in there, you can also see it does in, in the glass. So it's it's thick. It has legs. It's bottling at 100 proof. We don't have to chill filter. So all of the fatty acids, esters, proteins, flavor congeners are all still in, mm. in the whiskey. And see the way it coats mm -hmm. the glass. It's, mm -hmm. It looks like paraffin or oil or something. Right. That's what it's going to do to your palate. Ooh. So <laughs> That's exciting. Have a sniff. Mm. This is like seven to eight year old whiskeys, mm -hmm. all matured in American oak ex-bourbon barrels, so you'll get that vanilla, butterscotch, caramel mm -hmm. note to it from these wonderful American oak casks. I'd then say take a, take a good mouthful and, and chew it, swirl it around just like you would with mouthwash, kind of three to four seconds, and then slowly swallow it. So, okay. So, that. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. Um, oh, you're right. The coating. I feel the coating on my mouth. It's like almost as if I've uh, uh, eaten a chocolate or something. It's just, you know. Yeah, what I mean? it evolves on the palate. I mean, b yeah. basically what happens is those oils hit your, your taste oils. buds yeah. and the taste buds start salivating. Mm -hmm. And all of these fatty acids are soluble in water. So that breaks down the oils and that's where you get that, that <gasps> initial yeah. burst. But then as it, ling as it fades, mm -hmm. You get this lovely lingering vanilla oak yeah. creaminess to it. Um, it's lovely. And you said this is eight years? Yeah, it's seven to eight year seven old whiskies that years. we use. 50% um, malt whiskey, which is made only from malted barley. Mm -hmm. And then we also mix in grain okay. whiskey. So grain whiskey is made from corn, wheat, malted right. barley and unmalted barley. Right. Um, and so you mix those two get together and you get a blend. Blends are Johnny Walker, Chivas, Ballantines. Um, but the Black Bull, the difference is it's the higher proof, I think, you get a, a much more pronounced 
texture and mouth. You'll still taste that. It'll oh, still yeah, it'll still, still be it. evolving mm -hmm. um, in your palate. And so you can drink it straight. It works well with a drop or two of water. Mm -hmm. The Kylo is one I, I I love it on ice or I drink it long. Mm. You know, you drink it with it, like in a highball or something. Mm -hmm. It works really well. Um, but it also makes a killer old fashioned. Oh, I love an old fashioned. So you know you once you put in the. Um, the, the the bitters and the simple syrup mm -hmm. and all these things, the, the alcohol still really shines through. Mm. So, yeah, Black Bull Kylo, I mean, it's 30 bucks a bottle. That's great. Um, you know, and really, really good for for using in bars and, and for using... I mean, I think the whiskey industry, we do tend to, to say drink whiskey how you want. And, mm -hmm. and absolutely, if you buy whiskey, it's up to you how you drink it. <laughs> drink it how now. you want. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But, um, you know... You maybe don't want to use your forty-year-old Bowmore in a in a highball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, or an old fashioned. At twenty or twenty yeah. or thirty thousand dollars a bottle. Right. Um, I mean, again, if you can afford that, it's up to you. But <laughs> but you know, this is a, a really good quality, really solid blend um, that has the versatility that you can use it however you want without breaking the bank. That's, so. that's wonderful. And you know, a lot of scotches I've uh, had to add water to because they are very. Uh, bitey kind of, yeah, that's yeah, a good absolutely. word. Yeah. But this one, uh, it didn't feel like it needed that, for me personally, for my palate, but it, that I could just drink it on its own even. Well, I think it, these oils hold in alcohol. Mm -hmm. So actually, if you're watering it down to, to 80 proof and you're chill filtering, you're ripping out those oils by, oh. by this chill filtration system right. that, that a lot of whiskeys do, um, it does, the, the, the liquid doesn't have the ability to hold the alcohol in. So you do get that that spiritiness of it. Uh -huh. I think by not chill filtering, bottling at the higher proof, um, the alcohol's definitely still in there, but it's got a lot of other flavor congeners that are, right. that are holding it and, and giving it balance. 